but somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly, somewhere I read of the freedom of speech, somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Well, it's a simple gesture that speaks a lot of volume. But is the middle finger protected speech? A woman who believes she was punished after flipping off a Taylor cop took the issue to court. 7 Action reporter Kim Russell tells us how the unusual case impacts your First Amendment rights. Take a look. Here's what happened. A lady was out on the road driving and suddenly she realizes she's being pulled over by police. The officer could have given her a ticket for speeding, but instead gave her a non-moving violation. But she's still not happy. So as that officer takes off, she gives him the finger. I'm not going to say what one. Let's just say read between the lines. Now, at, at this point, when the officer saw her do this, uh, the officer then decided to initiate a second traffic stop. And this is important because this is not a continuation of the first stop. This is the officer pulling her over again. It was a Taylor police officer, and this time he gave her a ticket for the original speeding that he previously let go. Her attorney argued in court that figuratively, the police officer then gave the first and fourth amendments the middle finger. Attorney Corey Silverstein agrees. The stop that, that has now taken place is absolutely contrary to the fourth amendment. The officer had absolutely no legal right. He had no probable cause to pull that vehicle over. In an opinion siding with the woman, a judge wrote fits of rudeness or lack of gratitude may violate the golden rule, but that doesn't make them illegal or for that matter, punishable. I'm not suggesting that it is a good tactic to, uh, in the course of a police investigation or after a police investigation to use this sort of gesture that that's you know, for every person on their own to decide, but ultimately people should not be afraid to exercise their, their rights uh, pursuant to the First Amendment. So what happens now? Well, the suit moves forward, possibly with a settlement, possibly in court. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man.